my topic is about the biopsy in uh, bone and soft tissue tumors and what i have covered is broadly uh, different types of biopsy the biopsy techniques and a very small module of how to do a biopsy so i'll try to cover it within 15 minutes of the allotted time now so we know that biopsy is basically a surgical procedure to remove a tissue and to discover the presence or extent of a disease and currently biopsy is the gold standard for establishing the diagnosis why i am emphasizing on this because many a times people give this answer that how do you confirm your diagnosis so you should not say fnsc fnsc initially used to be and still in certain situations in like thyroid cancer it may be a diagnostic tool but when coming to the bone tumors the primary bone tumors the gold standard of diagnosis is with a proper biopsy and fnsc is done only when you have multiple lesions and you have a primary diagnosis you want to confirm uh, whether it is a metastatic or not or in a recurrent case fnsc can show you that there are malignant cells to show that there is a tumor so what type of biopsies are there broadly there are three types one core biopsy or what we commonly call call as needle biopsy other is incisional biopsy which is a type of open biopsy where part of the tumor is removed and third one is like excision biopsy as the word itself suggests excision you take out the tumor you take out completely so currently the core biopsy which is the needle biopsy is the preferred mode so this was the traditional way of doing open biopsy which includes incisional or excisional biopsy and nowadays we do core biopsy or the needle biopsy with the help of this jamshedi needle we insert the needle and it takes cuts the core from the bone tissue and it is taken out so this was about bone tumors when we have to do a soft tissue biopsy we have got true cut biopsy needles which have a bit of different uh, structure where once you can see in the picture on the right that once it goes inside the lesion it takes a cut from the soft tissue and pulls it out and once you have different cuts and usually four to six cuts the course are good enough to achieve at the diagnosis and uh, many a times like it is asked uh, uh, when the pathologists say that the sample is not adequate so it is, does not mean that you remove the entire tumor but it is important that you target the right area you target the representative area and take out the tumor tissue so now coming directly this is the commonly asked questions what are the principles of biopsy so we have read certain points are there and we mug it up but there is a very important logic and reasoning behind each point when we discussed so first a biopsy should always be performed only after complete clinical and radiological workup why it is important one before doing a biopsy once you have done your x ray mri you know the exact location of the tumor these tumors are heterogeneous you need to target the right area and so once you have the uh, radiological imaging complete you can do a more representative uh, tissue extraction also once you do a biopsy it changes the structure of the internal uh, uh, geometry and then once you do a radiography later on it may show uh, different uh, 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 locations like suppose if there is a solid tumor and you do a biopsy and then it may lead to multiple fluid levels later on it may uh, change the architecture of the tumor second the biopsy who should perform the biopsy so ideally it should be performed by the surgeon or the team which is going to do the final procedure and why it is important because doing a biopsy is as important as doing the final surgery if biopsy is done incorrectly if you have placed the biopsy on wrong side then you have to always remove the biopsy tract because biopsy tract are considered contaminated if you have taken a tumor tissue during the biopsy the the path in which our needle goes or in the open biopsy uh, the way the planes in which we go everything is considered contaminated by the uh, tissues which comes out which are the tumor tissues and so it is very important that whenever we plan our final surgery all this biopsy tract is excised along with the our surgical scar so if somebody else is doing the biopsy he may put the biopsy scar somewhere else 
but if the final team is doing it is always important that you make your surgical line where your definitive surgery is done and then on that line you put up your needle and do the biopsy so like uh, another uh, principle what i'm showing how the biopsy were done you see in the infrascapular region a transverse incision similarly in the gluteal region and in those situations when the biopsy scar is removed you have to uh, many a times end up doing a flap or a, you have to require a plastic surgery team and even sometimes because of these reasons a uh, patient has to undergo an amputation where limb salvage was easily possible the fourth principle is this is very important that what we have learned in our orthopedic training is to go into the internervous plane like in the proximal humerus we go to the deltopectoral approach to the bone but in while doing the biopsy we have to go directly it is best you have, you should use the approach which directly takes you to the bone it should the least compartment breach should be there it should not contaminate your neurovascular bundle and preferably it should be intramuscular where you just split the muscles and you directly go in and you take the tumor for the biopsy like if you see here uh, our common approach is to go to the deltopectoral approach but if you open the planes if we are doing a open biopsy and we open the planes the hematoma which forms can easily seep down and whatever contamination comes through it has to be excised and it, and it, any any drop of the blood from the tumor's tissue contaminates the entire compartment so it's very important that in such cases like this you have to go a bit laterally you can split through the deltoid and reach the bone directly which areas to target when we are taking a biopsy so generally we know that the tumor grows outwards so we have to target the peripheral zones mostly when the tumor grows outwards there is a necrotic area in between and if we take biopsy through that then it may lead a negative result and that's why our pathologist always tell that uh, your biopsy is inadequate second since these tumors are heterogeneous if we see in this part so you can see that there is a soft tissue tumor in the medial compartment and this is the thigh and then you see here is the neurovascular bundle the vein and the artery that is played by the tumor and what we see here is the sciatic nerve so when we have to target in a tumor like this where we see what white color structure you are seeing is the cystic area and the dark one is the solid component so we must target the solid component and which plane to use we have to go directly through the plane where we do not contaminate much of the muscles and uh, uh, other structures it's not advisable to go anteriorly where it contaminates many different planes it contaminates your rectus your intermedius rather than choose the plane which directly goes into this and in these situations where there are heterogeneous areas it is better to use a, a image guided biopsy like you can do a ultrasound guided biopsy or ct guided biopsy in bone we use ct guided biopsy in soft tissues we can use ultrasound guided biopsy then what about uh, the bone tumor which have a soft tissue component where to do the biopsy so like this case where there is a osteosarcoma of distal femur you can see there is a lesion in the bone as well as in the soft tissues so should we take a biopsy from the bone or soft tissue or both so in bone tumors biopsy from the soft tissues will yield the same result as from the bone so we may take a biopsy from the soft tissue alone and it helps further by not weakening the bone and at the same time giving you the same results second once we have done the biopsy it is very important when we have done open biopsy the hemostasis should be very meticulous we should uh use cautery to coagulate all the vessels and uh, it is said theoretically if you have done an open biopsy and made a, a hole in the bone then it should be plugged in with uh, bone cement or or wax so that the hematoma which comes out does not contaminate another point is that we should avoid drains when uh, doing the biopsy but if uh, we have to put then the drain should exit along the line of incision 
sometimes if we have an incision like this then it should be at the either of the end it should not come where come out somewhere in between because then you have to when doing the final surgery you have to excise it then you have to remove a lot of skin and the soft tissues and uh, which may necessitate the requirement of a flap cover or if you cannot do that then probably it may require a uh, uh, radiation uh, adjuvant radiation in cases where it was not contemplated so coming to this was all about the general biopsy principles so when do we plan for excision type of biopsy so usually in bone tumors excision biopsy has not much of a role it is mo mostly done in soft tissue tumor why excision biopsy means you remove the tumor entirely and like sir uh, sudhir sir was showing that different type of excisions which are done like uh, we have got uh, marginal excision intralesional excision and wide excision so in sarcomas in cancerous type of cells we need to excise it with wide margins so we most of the times these tumors when they are close to the neurovascular bundle we have to be very careful so excision biopsy is done only in tumors which are small usually less than 3 cm superficially located and we should keep in our mind that it if it comes out to be a sarcoma then it is excised with wide margins so like this is one of the example where a uh, young female had this uh, subcutaneous located uh, mass and uh, we plan to go for uh, excision biopsy and you can see how we remove this uh, when we remove a uh, soft tissue mass we in excision biopsy we don't go directly perpendicular rather we go in a slanting way so that we have adequate margins so there is a lot of concepts we follow in orthopedic oncology and one of the most important one is to follow the margins and margins is something which is like a barrier to the spread of the tumor cells and here you can see that it was in the subcutaneous location and there is a fascia inside which is which we are removing as a margin and you can see here so this is how it should be removed all around with proper margins and uh, it should be when you remove the biopsy sample it has to be oriented like you can see the threads here the the common dictum is to use a short thread superior and a long thread lateral so that and it has to be documented very well then we send it to the uh, for evaluation so that uh, the pathologist is very clear if it is closer somewhere where we have divide so just showing a practical example uh, this is a young gentleman 25 years old who presented with pain in the right shoulder for four months duration uh, slowly there was restriction of the movements and we see the x-ray here which shows a, a lytic lesion some expansion of the bone multiple trabeculations are seen uh, we don't see any matrix and this is the mri we see around so before we plan a biopsy we should have some differentials in our mind and looking at this what we see one of the most common thing is giant cell tumor other can be a sarcoma so how do we plan a biopsy what are the instruments that are required so this is just a picture you see uh, we need this is the jamshedi needle we need a hammer stab knife and i'll just go through a short video which explains the procedure so this case was done just three days back and we need for cleaning and draping purpose chlorhexidine sponge holders or anatomical landmarks we need a uh, uh, pen marking pen this is the jamshedi needle with a trocar the solid and the cannula we have uh, sometimes when the bone is hard we need a mallet we have two syringes one for lignocaine and but one we uh, put some parent in the saline so we mark in this proximal humerus we mark the landmarks we mark the acromion the clavicle the coracoid is marked which is almost centimeter that will end of the clavicle you feel for the humeral head so this is the routine keltopectoral approach and we should avoid that because it might contaminate and i'm just showing this core biopsy nowadays i do more than 90% of the biopsy the needle only so first we infiltrate with the local anesthesia you should go deep to the periosteum because that is the painful part 
just a stab knife incision and then we can use this jamshedi needle so you can see it is best to go inside with the trocar because otherwise the soft tissues on the way will get inside and you will not get the right code so till you reach the bony fatic box to the trocar then you remove the trocar out you go inside feel that you are inside the bone and then you apply a syringe with a negative suction and then you pull out with the negative suction on so that whatever material comes out does not contaminate the biopsy tract comes out fully and we collect it in a normal saline so this is such type of tissues are there when uh, it is both jelly like what we see in uh, hemorrhagic type in giant cell tumor or aneurysmal bone cyst or in sarcoma so you will repeat multiple sections we repeat multiple cores and it is best to go through the same hole from where we have entered and then you can change the direction so that you don't miss if there is a heterogeneous tumor you can go through the same hole and then direct it to different phase and then you collect the sample this so we add a uh, heparin into the normal saline because once we see this type of hemorrhagic aspirate what looks just a coagulate once we filter it we can see the material which comes out so this is the material you can see and for holding them it is better don't use uh, artery forceps or needle holders which can crush the tissue it is very important this tissue is very delicate uh, and sometimes it is scanty here i have a lot of tissues so i'm okay but use the plain forceps to hold it it has to be sent in a small container with formalin and then uh, you label it well into 10 percent formally and send it for further evaluation so the report came as a giant cell tumor which we are planning to operate now with the curate touch so thank you very much so this was about the talk and i think we can take on questions for it